Hello, hello, hello. Oh, today, self-love day. Yeah, it's a real thing. Um, of course, in my world, we do self-love all month. Okay, liar. We do it all year, but still, because it's February, we're gonna acknowledge it, self-love, but let me go a little bit deeper into that because I know a lot of us are um, in the midst of doing the work, right? We're doing the work, we're unlearning what we've always learned, and there's a lot of work to be done. We are always growing, right? The moment you stop growing, things are wrong. So just know that. I recall um, when I would go to work and people would say, oh my God, gee, you look so good. Don't you look nice today? And my response would be, I look nice every damn day. It would catch folks off guard because somewhere in them, they're thinking there should be a, oh my goodness, thank you. It's like, no. I'm not thanking anybody for stating the obvious. Why would I do that? Like, now, one, <laughs> I do look good every goddamn day. Yes, that shit's true. Even on my worst day, I'm rocking. I'm my worst. But then two, you know how there's this, there is a place where you can compliment and lift up others genuinely without looking for um the thank you or the you know what i mean because i didn't you know did ask for it i did try it once i did try the thank you for your compliment i tried it once and the person was like are you all right are you ill because it was not authentic g like it's just not what i do sorry not sorry you know how folks try to give you a compliment, but they're actually like insulting you and they don't understand it? You look cute for a chick with short hair. Yeah, there's a host of those phrases, a host. But that for some other, some other blog posts. Here's my point. You have to get to a place where you love, accept, adore the person in the mirror. For all things, like, you know, we're all flawed creatures. We're all mutants. <laughs> we really are. But you have to get to a place of where you enjoy being in your own company. And you also have to know how you want others to treat you. Like, people would get upset with me, and I mean this, real talk. They would get upset with me when I corrected them on my name. I am not a Gwen. I am a Gwendolyn. Okay, it is Gwendolyn, or you can call me G. But people would get um, angry that I would correct them as if, how dare I tell someone how to recognize me? Right? The audacity. Ugh. Gwendolyn. Yeah, that's my name. That's like basic respect for a person is to use their name basic respect right so we have fought this fight of self-love and recognition for some time for some time so i'm at a place where it's either respect me or get out of my space like it's, it's very simple so when you're going through this journey of self-love and self-nurturing and really loving the person you are the good, the bad, and there are some ugly crevices, but they make me who I am. I mean, we would not be this amazing if I didn't have some of those ugly crevices. <laughs> it's part of the journey. It's part of being human, right? And it is authentic. Nobody's perfect, and we're not trying to be, and I'm a Virgo, um, but I recognize that being perfect is like a fool's dream. I don't, I don't know why they figure that all Virgos try to be. I have no desire. Zero. So before I end this, I do want to talk about space and energy, right? Because there are people who, they don't belong in your space. I was reading a post some time ago where someone's like, you know what, be careful in burning bridges 
because you may need that person's help, right? And when you talk about self-care and self-love, there are going to be people who should not be in your circle for one reason or another. That could be your family. They just should not be in your circle. You can forgive people. You can want the best for them. You can wish them well and not have them in your circle. So my whole thought is this. If the person you are burning the bridge, if that person is one of the people who have caused you harm, um, it's toxic, it's not good for you in any way, shape, or form, then you should get a box of matches and set that bitch on fire. You should let that motherfucker burn to the ground. You're not losing anything by doing that. You're not going back there. And there are some folks in my circle who I have removed myself from. It's just not good for me. I don't do dysfunction. I don't do drama. I don't do negative energy. And people will often say, oh my God, G, you're so negative. No, I'm a realist. And I know that if your energy is not good, I don't want it in my circle. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having your boundaries. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. That's not negative. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise, okay? This is your house, protect your house, protect your heart. <sighs> All right, so with that, let's go out, get some, well, whatever you drink that makes you happy, right? I've got sparkling coconut water today. Maybe get some champagne later, I ain't gonna lie. Not gonna lie about that. But go out, enjoy yourself, be safe, and let's continue to do the work. Happy Self Love Day. <laughs>